So let me get this straight. We just had a major Call of Duty ban wave. Did we not? Then why is Tim the Tatman talking about spectating cheaters, which is basically free promotion for cheaters, which would enable cheaters to want to cheat more because they're getting a look and a shout out from a big large streamer, which gives them exposure and gets their name out there. I think that Tim the Tatman might be getting paid and know a lot more than what he lets on to, to give out, to let out. It's a big accusation, but it does kind of make sense. Because a normal person that's just gone through a massive ban wave would be rejoicing in the fact that it's time to play the game. And he would have more like, is the lobbies clean? Testing the lobbies, checking the lobbies. Thank God there's no more hackers, let's now play. Legit. And it would be more to do with rejoicing the moment. Because we all know that a ban window is very small, it's very short, it's very tiny. It doesn't last very long before the cheaters just implode and come back and then everyone's pissed off and then the Call of Duty anti-cheat ricochet, anti-manual banning is going on and it's just a mass ban again and it doesn't happen for a long time because there's so many cheaters to be able to go through to organise. It's, it's, it's crazy. But I'm, I don't think I'm too far off. If Tim knew a lot, and he probably does know a lot because he's very well connected in the Call of Duty franchise, what's to stop Hush Money from getting in played? I just... I think it could definitely happen. I think he knows who's cheating and who's not. And then the random people that he doesn't know, he obviously doesn't know, like most people don't know. But am I onto something? Am I not? I might be. I might not be. Just some ideas. Call to action. Subscribe. Because we want to hit 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year. We've got many months to do it. But our, months, our days are shrinking. And so are our seconds and minutes. So please help out. Thanks.